Magandang araw. This uh, lecture presentation is for FB102 practices in uh, crop uh, production. In this uh, session, our topic is about uh, corn production uh, practices. So, sea maize, sea maize, uh, maize or maize is uh, second to rice as the most important crop uh, in the Philippines. With one third of Filipino farmers or about 1.8 million, depending on maize as their major source of livelihood. The white maize is the most important substitute staple in periods of rice shortage, especially for people in rural uh, areas. While yellow maize is the primary source of feed for the Philippines animal industry and is being increasingly used by the manufacturing uh, sector. Growing corn bars depending on the area and its production cycle is uh, different in all parts of the world. In the Philippines, corn production is based on the landscape and topography of an area. In 2019, the production volume of corn in the Philippines was almost 8 million metric tons, higher than the produced quantity of uh, 8 million metric tons in 2018. So in this um, graph, you can see that our production is quite consistent since uh, 2012. So here in 2019, this is our uh, latest data, our uh, the volume of production of corn is about uh, 8 uh, million metric tons. So in uh, selecting the seeds, there are several ways how the farmers acquire their seeds. So for those who have uh, relatively large uh, land holdings, um, they are securing their seeds from agricultural uh, supply shop or store. Some farmers uh, up to barter uh, their seeds with the from other farmers and those farmers who have relatively small land holdings secure their seeds from each scrapping uh, season. So especially in the case of the uh, indigenous uh, people. So in planting, uh, you should time your planting on the onset or towards the end of the wet season. So in general, the dry season crop gives higher yield and better quality than the wet season. Why? Because during summer time, during the dry season, the day length is uh, longer. So the longer the day length, uh, there is um, more time for the plants to um, perform the, their photosynthetic uh, activity. So more photosynthetic uh, activity means more food that a certain crop can uh, produce. So for the dry season planting, the best time to plant is from October to November, while for the wet season, the recommended month is from May to uh, June. So here are some examples of uh, tools or equipment that uh, are being used in planting corn. This is not exactly the one that being utilized in corn planting, but similar to this uh, one. So in the northern uh, part of the country, or in the other areas where corn uh, is uh, planted in uh, large areas, they're using uh, tools like this one. Ang tawag nila ay armalite. So there is a panel on, on the uh, upper end, and dun sa baba, there, there is a, a probe with mm, parang bu uh, bumubuka siya. So if you are going to, to pull the trigger, so the probe at the end, so yung parang may tang, uh, will open and then the seed will will uh, drop. So some in, in some areas, uh, nakita ko dati sa, sa like in, in Isabela, ay parang isa-isa yung paghuhulog ng seed doon sa uh, funnel, doon sa upper end. So this is another tool uh, available uh, commercially that uh, helps the farmers in planting uh, corn. These uh, two pictures also shows uh, uh, other tools that can be used in planting corn or seeder. 
this one is a prototype invented by a student from the University of uh, the Philippines. And of course, if you have um, larger uh, land holdings or large uh, land holdings, you need to use uh, the machines like this uh, tractor do drone uh, uh, planter or seeder. Uh, like like uh, because in in other countries the size of the land holdings uh, ranges from about 250 hectares to 500 hectares and uh, more so you need uh, larger machines or seeders like this one so to help you in planting your crops in your uh, fields so let's proceed to the other um management uh, practices so thinning cultivation and uh, pest management to be performed from 7 to 20 days after planting so that is days after planting so you have to monitor pest damage and or pest uh, populations as well as the presence of natural enemies on a weekly interval starting from day three so uh, starting from uh, uh, three days after emergence so you have to do shallow cultivation or up barring at 14 days after planting to control the weeds so care should be taken not to damage the plants during the process if the number of growing plants is beyond the expected uproot the excess ones carefully so you should perform this from 14 to 20 days after planting so longer uh, than this uh, uh, this will uh, tender the operation quite hard because the, the roots are uh, pretty sure, uh, pretty uh, established by that uh, time, uh, more than uh, three weeks. So this is the off uh, barring. Off barring is the turning of soil away from the base of the plant to remove the weeds to kill the weeds uh, that are close to the base of the plants and of course to uh, aerate the uh, our plants and then we have the healing up so healing is the pulling up of soil to mound it around the base of the plant so kabaliktaran ito ng off barring yung off barring ibinababa mo yung lupa parang pinapatag mo ng kaunti and the healing up naman or sabi nga natin, healing, tinataas mo naman yung lupa around the base of the plant and between the plants within a row. Since most of corn's roots are at, the, are, are at the surface of the soil, you cannot weed close to the base of the plant with a hoe. So instead, you bury the small weeds by putting soil over them. So this blocks out the sunlight and kills the young weeds. So taller weeds will need to be pulled by hand or cut with a bolo or a machete. So healing uh, in corn, uh, because corn is also susceptible to being blown over by the high winds because corn are, are tall um, uh, crop. And one way to support the plant is, is to provide them a stronger base by scraping a hill, dirt up around the plant once or twice a week until the corn begins to uh, tassel. So ito na yung uh, flowering stage. So one more advantage of healing your corn is that the extra soil acts as soil mulch to help the corn roots retain moisture between rains or uh, watering. Sempre after you water the plants, um, pag na-expose na yung lupa sa, sa init ng araw, mag evaporate But you have a, a mound near the base of your uh, crops that will help to conserve uh, the moisture. So to help us in uh, determining the growth uh, pace of our corn plant, so we have here from day 1 to 14 days, we have the germination and uh, crop establishment uh, pace. So from day 15 to day 39, we have the vegetative uh, pace, flowering pace from 40 to 65 days, and then we have the maturity pace from 66 to 95 uh, days. So let's proceed now to the weed management uh, practices in corn fields. So in order to manage the weeds, 
we have to we have some several uh, methods to employ uh, we have the cultural manual mechanical and uh, chemical so in the uh, cultural methods so growers should use uh, good cultural practices so the corn would be competitive with uh, any weeds so the first step in cultural weed control is the selection of a corn variety that is adapted to local growing conditions so timely planting along with proper fitting in till situations or proper adjustments of no tillage planters ensures rapid germination and a competitive advantage for the corn. So another cultural practice that favors rapid establishment of corn is proper band application of fertilizer at planting. All primary uh, plowing and secondary, the harrowing or fitting tillage operations help provide a weed-free uh, seedbed. So cultivation of row crops is an effective way to control annual weeds between corn rows. So two weeks after emergence, the plants are healed up to remove weeds and establish the irrigation furrows. A second, uh, we second weeding and healing up operation is done usually about four to five weeks after uh, emergence. So baka makonfuse kayo uh because kanina it was stated that you should uh, perform off barring two weeks uh, after uh, germination or after planting here naman sabi dito two weeks after emergence the plants are healed up so para hindi tayo malito uh, this will depend on uh, the season no season ng uh, pagtatanim so so I will I'm going to de demonstrate uh, paano para hindi kayo malito while why uh, sinabi it was stated that dun dun sa isang statement you should perform uh, off barring 14 days after planting then yung isa sabi niya healing up uh, 14 days after uh, transplanting or or I mean after seeding or germination so sabi ko it depends on the season so if you are going to to plant uh, during dry season. So, dry season, limited ang water supply. So, we have the, the uh, furrows. So, ito yung furrows natin. So, dry season tayo. During dry season, limited ang water supply. So, uh, you're, you are going to place your seeds at the bottom of the uh, furrow. Kasi pag dito, wala ka nang tubig dahil walang masya, walang ulan during na uh, dry uh, season so you have to place your seeds uh, here para uh, pag uh, pag nagpapatubig ka nandito yung tubig na abot so you have you don't have to water uh, you have you don't have to flood the field para lang mabasa yung seeds mo na nandito sa taas ng mga uh, furrow so, dito ka magtatanim. So, after two weeks, so, sumibol na yung mga uh, weeds dito sa, sa gilid nung, nung furrow. So, you have to uh, perform um, off-barring. So, i-scrape yung lupa pababa. So, pag in-scrape mo yan, so, dito naman, sumibol after two weeks, medyo uh, naka-establish naka na yung, yung seedling mo. So, baba ng kaunti yung, yung lupa. Then, mamamatay yung uh, damo. So, mangyayari, tataas ng, tataas, magiging ganun naman siya. Tataas yung lupa. Now, if you are going to plant during wet season, maulang mga panahon, so, kabalik taran, you have to place your seeds on top of the uh, furrows. So, here your furrows. So, maglalagay ka naman ng seeds dito sa taas ng iyong uh, furrows. Why? Pag dito mo yan nilagay at umulan ng ilang araw at nalubog yung iyong seeds ng ilang araw, so you will, uh, the seeds will will um, probably rot. So, mabubulok lang yung iyong seeds. So, you have to plant uh, here. So, after two weeks na nakasibol yung iyong corn, uh, you have to perform uh, of barring so of barring siya uh, hindi ko alam kung nabaliktad ko yung explanation ano ulitin natin uh, baka baliktad yung aking pagka-explain at malito kayo so here 
um, dry season. Nagtanim ng dry season. Dry season nagtanim. Sa dry season, you are going to plant your uh, seeds at the bottom of the farrow. Dito ka magtatanim. After two weeks, sumibol si corn. And then, you are going to perform healing up. So, healing up. This is dry season. So, we perform ka ng healing up after two weeks of barring naman. So, two weeks, three weeks. After mo mag-healing up. So, um, pag wet season, you are going to plant or place your seeds at the top of the furrows. Para hindi mababad siya pag umulan, excessive rains, marami kang tubig, hindi siya mababad. So, you have to, to place your seeds here. And then, after two weeks, sumibol si corn mo, you have to perform off barring kasi may tumubo ka na na damo dito. So, and then, um, how are you going to determine when you are going to perform off barring or uh, healing up? So, tingnan mo na lang yung mga, yung pagsibol ng damo. So, pag marami ng sumibol na damo, so you have to perform either healing up or uh, off barring So, I hope uh, hindi kayo uh, malito doon. So, you, uh, also, you can uh, research on on that. Pero, I think uh, malinaw naman niya yung um, sinabi ko. So, all primary plowing and secondary feeding, uh, Mukhang naulit na ako dyan. So, let's proceed to the next uh, slide. So, manual uh, control of weeds. So, weeds in small areas can be removed by manual pulling or by using simple tools like grab hoe or weed scraper. Pwede din yung, yung carrot o yung uh, hand trowel or uh, dulos. Of course, ito sa mga may small uh, land holdings lang. If you have um, wider land holdings, so pwede ka nang, uh, you can use um, animal drone or tractor drone uh, implements. So in the mechanical uh, control of weeds, so you can use a rotary hose or ho, uh, you, yes, a rotary hose can effectively de destroy <coughs> weed seedlings in, in small corn. However, pag medyo mataas na yung corn mo, you have to use uh, row cultivators adjusted to the minim to minimize pruning of corn roots um, because in, in this stage, mataas na nga, na nga yung, yung corn, 5 or 6 inches uh, tall. So, some creeping weeds cannot be adequately controlled by one or two cultivations and are controlled with tillage only if the operations are repeated over long periods. Some biennial and simple perennials weeds do not persist in fields that are plowed but can be a problem in reduced and sown no tillage fields. Uh, example, best example for this is yung kugon, imperata cylindrica. So yung kugon, ayaw niya ng nagko-cultivate na lupa. So sumusuko siya. So, but if you are going to leave your area inundated, wag mong galawin in a, in, in a certain period of time, and then i-invade ni kugon yung iyong uh, field. So, here is an example of an intero cultivator. So, kinocultivate niya yung areas in between the rows of the our maize or corn plants. So, para uh, to kill the weeds and to aerate the uh, crops. So, this is a, another one of, uh, another example of a cultivator. So, used in modern, modernized uh, areas or in areas where farmers have relatively large uh, land holdings. So, knowledge of the weeds uh, present, herbicide effectiveness, and rotational plants should be considered when selecting uh, herbicides. So, nasa chemical control na tayo. Cost of chemical weed control dictates that herbicides be applied when they will provide maximum return. Label guidelines for the timing of herbicide applications are based on research and are geared for maximum weed control and minimum uh, crop injury. So, you have to assess, really assess the situation 
baka naman konting damo lang and then you're going to apply uh, herbicides or herbicide is not that good for our uh, environment so we will um, study more of this um sa fourth year na tayo um, because to na may, may may isang course tayo on organic uh, farming technologies so ako din ang tuturo so doon natin sa papag-aralan ng mabuti so a variety of herbicides are available for pre-plant, -pre pre-emergent, and or post-emergence. Pag pre-plant before planting, pre-emergence kapag uh, uh, bago bago sumibol, no, yung nakatanim ka na ng, ng halaman mo. Pre-plant bago magtanim, pre-emergence na kapag tanim ka pero hindi pa sumisibol, and or post-emergence, so after makasibol yung, yung weeds and yung, yung crop mo at the same time. So, weed control in corn. These herbicides vary in their effectiveness in controlling different weeds and in the length of time, they remain active in the soil. Iyon ang isang pangit na iiwan sa lupa. So, the soil is affected. So, some examples of um, chemicals utilized in killing weeds in corn fields are atrazine, pendimethylene, butachlor, cyanacin, and tripluralin o pre-emergence ito and 2,4-D and MCPA post-emergence. Uh, so, some corn herbicides might, might carry over to affect rotational crops like mine bean, melons, or vegetables. So, commonly, um, in intercrop natin sa ating uh, corn. So, if you are going to uh, use uh, chemicals, or some uh, chemicals remains active in the uh, soil, that may affect our rotational crops. So this is this is an example of um uh herbicide applicator. This is um uh, this is a so some other machines they have a wider swat, mas malawak pa yung uh, swat nila. And of course in the modern world, the modern um, and the highly in the industrialized countries, uh, they are using drones now to apply uh, chemicals in their uh, fields. So, meron na din dito sa Mindoro nito, merong poor list, no? but it is not gaining popularity uh, yet. So, I don't know the uh, price range kung magkano ba yung singil nila. Uh, for sure, it is for, for ang rate nito is per hectare. No? Per hectare. So, there is another way of uh, eradicating Weeds in the fields. This one, this one is uh, uh, utilized by organic farmers. So instead of chemicals, they are using uh, flames. So this is a combination of mechanical and uh, chemical method. Mechanical because um, machines are being used. Chemical because they are using propane to produce uh, fire to kill the uh, weeds. So, this one is quite better than applying uh, herbicide in your uh, fields. So, the main weeds of maize monoculture in upland fields in the Philippines are reported to be Rotbelia consensinensis. Rotbelia consensinensis, uh, medyo makati ito na damo, medyo mataas siya, tapos ang namunga siya ng uh, parang pellet, no, na dugtug -dug, parang pinagdugtong-dugtong na feeds na pellet. Then we have Ipomaea triloba. Ito ay kamote-kamotehan, parang kamote. Ang bulaklak nito ay kulay pink. We have Cyperus rotundus or mutha. Cyperus rotundus is the, the world's, world's worst weed. So pinakamatinik, pinakamatindi sa buong mundo. Then we have Amaranthus spinosus. Amaranthus spinosus is um, kulitis na matinik. Then we have Amaranthus viridis. A colitis na walang tinik. We have uh, Portulaca oleracea, pigweed or oleseman, Cleomera to desperma. This is a broad leaf. Um, may, parang nasa capsule na matulis ang kanyang bunga. Then we have Dactylectenium egyptium. Uh, Pacross ang kanyang bulaklak, parang star. Pa then we have uh, Beravia erecta and Digitaria sanguinales. When maize is grown in the dry season and rotation with rain-fed rice, the main weeds are 
Ikinoklowa, ikinoklowa uh, Colonna. This is a common width of rice. We have Cyprus, uh, Cyprus area. This one is a sedge, Bracaria paspaloides, uh, Ikinoklowa glabrescens, Ludwigia octobalbis, and uh, Paspalum plabidum. Uh, weeds are most competitive during the first 40 days of maize growth in the wet season and at high nutrient uh, levels because we all know that weeds competes with our crop uh, in several ways they compete for space they compete for water for oxygen for sunlight and for uh, nutrients so and mas ma mas ma masisikap mas matitinik itong mga damo as compared to our crops Kaya pag pinabayaan mo yung crops at tinalo na yung damo, it can give you um, considerable amount of, of, of loss. No? Um, bakit walang pictures yung mga damo? Because this is your task to search for the common weeds and upland and uh, uh, upland dry season and wet season. Uh, rice fields. So, you have to research for these weeds kasama pa nung uh, Ilyusin Indica and then in the exam, in the final exam magbibigay ako ng um, magbibigay ako ng picture and then ang choices ay scientific name. So, you have to to select the scientific name that corresponds to the uh, to the picture being uh, shown. So, you have to study this. Konti lang naman yan. Excuse me. Then, water management in corn. So, in corn production, water must be available especially at uh, flowering stage. At dahil napag-usapan natin ng tubig, iinom muna ako dahil medyo uh, makatina ang lalamunan. Ha, thank you. Parang tao din. So, uh, our crops needs uh, water. So, hindi mo pwedeng pabayaan yung crop mo na matuyuan. Yung sabi nga, corn can tolerate drought conditions at vegetative and after ear, ear formation. Pero yung counting panahon na nakulangan sa ng tubig, makakabawas yun sa yield mo. So, the amount of irrigation is gradually produced as the plant matures. Sa bata, mas marami kang tubig na ibibigay hanggang flowering stage. Uh, and then, sa maturity, pababa na pababa. No? Uh, under conditions of marginal rainfall and limited rainwater supply during dry seasons, the number of irrigation schedules may vary from 2 to 5 depending on the severity of the water uh, deficit. So, farrow irrigation is the usual method of irrigation for corn. It is good practice to synchronize fertilizer application with irrigation schedule. Uh, in the absence of rain, the field must be irrigated after planting for the seeds to germinate. Failure to do so will result in low germination uh, rate. So, the field should be irrigated again at the following critical stages. Fourth leaf stage, so about 12 to 15 days after planting. 25 to 30 days after planting. 40 to 45 days after planting. 55 to 60 days after planting. 70 to 75 days after um, planting. So, this is the picture of paro irrigation uh, method in corn. So, sa pamamagsap, Pinapadaan yung tubig in between the uh, furrows or tudling. Far, far, farrow is uh, tudling. Then, uh, we have here uh, trickle uh, drip irrigation or trickle uh, irrigation. This one. So, drip irrigation in corn. Here, we have the sprinkler. Sprinkler irrigation. Sprinkler method in uh, corn production. Then, we have the rain gun. So, rain gun. Uh, the difference between uh, sprinkler and rain gun, itong rain gun, mas malayo yung abot niya. No? So, sometimes it reaches uh, about 50 meters no? from the from the position of the uh, rain gun. Then, we have the pivot uh, irrigation system. So, pivot irrigation system, mahaba siya, and then may mga gulong, it moves laterally from one side to the other side of the uh, field. Then we have this another practice called detapping. Detapping is a practice of removing, removing that stock above the ear. So it is practiced in corn after rice areas for, for cattle feeding uh, purposes. So carried only after physiological maturity or black layer stage. 
So, pinapractice lang sa pag-mature na yung iyong uh, corn ears, yung yung grains. Hindi mo pwedeng tanggalin habang hindi pa nagmamature yung iyong grains kasi, of course, hindi madidevelop yung iyong uh, seeds, yung iyong grains. So, harvesting. Uh, harvest... Uh, harvesting of sweet corn or vegetable corn. So, harvest when tassel begin to turn brown and corn cobs start to, well, to swell. Kernel should be full and milky. So, pull ears downward and twist to take off stock. Sugary varieties begin to lose their sweetness soon after harvesting. So, use them as soon as possible. Prepare for eating or preserving immediately after picking. So, yung vegetable corn... After harvesting, after cutting them off from the stalks, ay from the stem, dapat mailuto na agad siya kasi tatabang siya. No? So, yung nabibili nyo na corn tapos matabang na ibig sabihin na hindi agad siya na, na iluto after um, harvesting. So, harvesting uh, grain corn. O, ito yung pinapagulang used for uh, feeds or oil. Harvest at the upper plate stage depending on the maturity of your variety or high or hybrid. So, 90 to 95 days for early and 105 to 110 days for full season. So, corn is ready for harvesting when black layer develops at grains point of attachment to the cob. Yung cob ay yung busil. So, kernels are glazed, makintab, and the leaves and husk are dry. So, ito. So, sa base nung, nung kuha natin, makikita mo may, may black, may, may tim na. Then, this is an example of a combined uh, harvester for corn. So, ito siya. So, mabilis lang ang pag-harvest nila ng, ng corn. Pero dito sa atin ay halos mano-mano pa. There are areas like, like in Isabela, uh, they are all already using um, combined harvester for corn. Kasi doon, medyo malawak yung, yung areas being utilized for uh, corn production. So, this ends my lecture for uh, corn production uh, practices. Thank you.